Hey, this is Dave at housebarons.com. We just got done hooking up our Mr. Cool Universal, and so I thought we'd walk you through the wiring for it because it can be a little tricky. And if you've ever worked with Mr. Cool, uh, they even vary from year to year. Uh, here we have a wiring diagram of what we did in 2020, in October of 2020, and what we just did here in March of 2023. They're both Mr. Cool Universals, but they have a few differences. One of the differences is we used a Nest thermostat in 2020, and this time we used a Honeywell thermostat. And so the thermostats are different and sometimes in their designations, and so we'll walk through that. Here's the air handler. So you can see that the air handler in 2020 is different than the air handler wiring set up in 2023, depending on which kind, uh, how old you're, Mr. Cool Universal is, you may have to pay so you may have to watch out for that. But here's how we hooked up the wiring on the actual unit itself. One thing I wanted to call your attention to was the yellow on the, our newest one. All of the yellow wire and you'll see in the, you see how we've hooked it up. There's a waggle nut between those two yellow lines. And so that's just a, it's a basically a wire nut. What we did is just connected them inside the air handler but not on the board anywhere. They're just wire nutted together. On the air handler in 2020, there was a Y where we could connect it, but in 2023, they've changed that to a D terminal. All right, so this is how we finally wired it up. We had a few issues. Um, in particular, our unit does not have a heat strip. That's where that would be plugged in. And so we originally had a D wire because the manual looks like it says D connects from the air handler to the condenser. Uh, but we called Mr. Cool because we were having problems getting the condenser to turn on. And they were saying, if you don't have the heat strip, then you don't need the D wire connected from D air handler to D condenser outside. And you don't need the W1, which is the communication to the thermostat that you know for the heat strip so those two we we got rid of those two so we deleted our that d wire there and this was the final wiring diagram that we had uh, for the new mr cool that we put in in 2023 we'll walk you through the actual what it look actually looks like inside each of the units here's the air handler setup and so we have uh, the double wires go from thermostat to here to condenser. So we have double orange or B, double red for your power, a single blue common going to the condenser, and double green going from thermostat to here to condenser. Here's the thermostat setup. Here's our Honeywell thermostat, and you can see the temperature's 52. We started today at 47. So that's the final wiring, and we'll go up close. You can see we've got a jumper between between yellow and uh, W, and that was per the thermostat instructions. And so we've got our orange for the reversing valve, green, yellow, and red for the power. That's how we wired the thermostat. And here's the condenser setup. All right, so. Here's our outside condenser with the cover. We'd have the cover off, but we have double zero. That just means it has power right there. And then when we turn the thermostat on, that changes to zero and then an N for on. This is how we wired the condenser outside. Uh, pretty straightforward with our main power right there and our disconnect box right there. Here's our disconnect box wiring. And so when it's like that, it's on and connected. When you flip it and put it in, it's off and disconnected. But we're gonna put it in the on position. There we go. And let's close up the box. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.
and we'll see you in the next video.